Why is my verse so barren of new pride, so far from variation or quick change? Why with the time do I not glance aside to newfound methods or to compounds strange? Why write I still? All one, ever the same, and keep invention in a noted we, that every word doth almost tell my name, showing their birth and where they did proceed. Oh, sweet love, I always write of you, and you and love are still my argument. So all my best is dressing old words new, spending again what is already spent. For as the sun is daily new and old, so is my love, still telling what is told. So that was Sonnet 76. Um, I did this sonnet uh, like 30 minutes ago, and then my webcam wouldn't save, so I've been living through some technical difficulties, so that was fun. So we got a different, so the first time I did it, it was much more, uh, it was much less frustrated. There was a bit of an edge to it this time because I was having so many issues. It was like my Microsoft's OneDrive thing where like they give you cloud storage for only a little bit. I like was like, I don't want to use that. And, but since it's all Microsoft, it was like all linked and wouldn't save. It was annoying. Anyways, Shakespeare. Sonnet 76. Um, I like these sonnets. This is a one of the sonnets where Shakespeare comes off as like just kind of speaking his mind and not trying to like be the most flowery poet. Um, because that is the thing with most of, uh, most of the sonnets at the time or similar poetry at the time was like, how flowery can my language be? How, how cool are the words? Not necessarily, is it heartfelt and is it rooted in a place of truth? So it was really, uh, I find these ones compelling where he's just kind of like, am I, what am I doing? Why am I, everything's stale. It's not, wh wh why am I still doing this? Um, and, uh, well, it's interesting because that, that, that the whole premise of, of art being stale is an interesting one because he's Shakespeare writes about it mainly from the viewpoint of it is perceived as stale by the audience, by the by society, by everyone else, um, and it is not in keeping with the latest styles and trends and modes and all that. Um, and I can't help wondering how much of that's tongue in cheek because you know Shakespeare was kind of a trailblazer. I mean he. He's kind of unique in what he was doing at the time, and maybe there was a bit of a like, oh yeah, you know, everyone that, um, you know, why is my writing this way? Even though he's kind of like, my writing is the only good writing, all the other people writing according to the latest trends are idiots. And, um, but it does make me wonder because, you know, that is such a thing when people consume media or art of any, you know, whether it's a play or a movie or a, uh, some sort of writing, a story, a poem, there's like a, there's like, you can't win because either if you're a great writer and people are looking forward to your next work, it's going to be the same or similar and people are going to criticize you for that. Or it's going to be very different and people are going to criticize you for that because they're like, well, we liked what you did before. We want more of that. And it's like, you can't win. Um, and so it's interesting because it, it seems like as, as the people who consume the media, we don't care enough about why it was written. And I mean, it's not, you can't always know why. I mean, you can think about potential reasons as to why, but you know, why criticize something because it's not different enough if it wasn't written to be different? Like, that's stupid, right? Um, it's, so it was very interesting to think about because um, I encounter that so often with movies, with, with books, with music. It's like, you can't please people because I feel like it's so easy to forget that it's like, it's not necessarily being written for us. We like it and we buy it, which is a thing. And I mean, usually that's the case, right? When you either pay for a ticket to go see a movie or you buy a book or whatever it is, it's like, but that seems like in general, it's a trap that you fall into where you feel entitled now to be like, I bought this now. And some of my money went to you, so now you are on the hook to give me what I want. It's like, well, unless you're commissioning specific stuff, and you give an outline of like, this is what it needs to be, then they, they don't owe you shit. 
if they want to write a new book or, uh, you know, write a new uh, screenplay or, or, or do a new TV show, whatever it is, just because you liked what they did before doesn't mean that they are obligated to make it the same because you want more of the same or make it different enough so that, you know, you're satisfied by, you know, oh, well, this, this is the same as last time. This is boring. You know, it's like, it's so, it, it's, it's very interesting. And we don't, I don't know, it just seems like this cycle. It doesn't matter. This is like five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. It's like, this is just what we do. Um, so, yeah. It's interesting to think about because, and maybe it's more that, you know, it's from, Maybe that voice is loudest because that's a voice of a population of people that don't create their own art. And so maybe they don't make the connection there. Um, I don't know. It's really interesting to think about. But yeah, this one hit home for me in that way, and I really liked it. So it's been a while since I, I said this in the last, when I recorded this the first time we lost that recording. Uh, it's been a while since I did one of these, so I'm happy to be doing these again. I had a very busy summer, I and I now live in Massachusetts. I'm in a new apartment. Um, I'm a lot closer to work now, which is great. So, um, so yeah. Now that and, and this is kind of like settled because I was I kind of went from like being in a play to being in another play to um, uh, going on a vacation to moving to a new apartment, um, all within the span of a few months. And so all that is kind of done, and now I'm a little bit more settled. So um, hope to be doing these with more frequency now. So um, it's fun to get back into the habit. So yes, Sonnet 76. Thank you for watching.